Get out of my way. Now the three kingdoms divided by Zhuge Liang shall be as one. Let's go. This has long been the dream of my family. Today it shall be realized. Charge! This whole land will soon be ours! This is our country, and we'll defend it ourselves. We'll surround Baidi Castle. The main army shall protect the center. Wong Gai will begin the circle from the left flank, while Zhou Tai secures the space for our reinforcements on the right. Obviously know nothing of battle. Here I go. Here I go. So, who would attack even the innocent? Battlefield. Such a good fortune. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Underestimate the enemy. We must hold out. Strength 
quite impressive. over already. Enemy officer defeated! This road is for dead men only. None alive shall pass. When you can't avoid a battle, fight! Unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! This isn't good.
My spear will run right through to your soul. Ah, reinforcements. This fire attack shall confuse the enemy troops. Quickly, secure the position for our reinforcements. I'll cut you in half with the sharp edge of justice. Master, the time has come. Order the army to march. The enemy is formidable. Trying to take the base! Stop them! Here I go! Wolf has begun to move just as you like. Officer defeated! Focus on the matter at hand! It's 
over already. <laughs> Enemy officer can be here I go! to die, then we'll be happy to oblige you I go! Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. <laughs> Quite impressive.
put a stop to this. Forgive my lateness. arriving early. Unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated. We captured by D Castle. They killed Liu Chan as well. Bringing an end to Shu and his dreams of a land of virtue. Perhaps it was too great of an ideal to be realized. What the people want is to live a life of peace. And the kingdom of Wu shall be able to give that life to them. We must work hard to create a land that would not be ridiculed by Cao Cao or Liu Bei. Bodyguard, this bodyguard. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Lu Xun from the Wu territory, born to a powerful family, he came to serve Wu and slowly proved himself by participating in many battles.
It was Lu Meng who first noticed Lu Xun's potential and took him to Jing, only to discover the mighty Guan Yu awaiting them there. When Guan Yu attacked Cao Ren at Fan Castle in 209 AD, Lu Xun asked Lu Meng for permission to lead the attack. Lu Xun's strategy proved effective as he defeated Guan Yu. As a result, Sun Quan's trust in Lu Xun rose and he promoted him following Lu Meng's death. Liu Bei came seeking vengeance for his lost brother and together with Zhu Ge Liang engaged Lu Xun at Yiling. Lu Xun claimed victory over the two, and the course of history took a surprising turn. Lu Xun decided to put an end to the chaos and mobilized his armies. He set out and defeated the huge armies of Wei and took control of Baidi Castle where he forced the heroes of Shu to surrender. The lands came under the control of Wu, and the people could finally live in peace. Lu Xun continued to assist Sun Quan, serving him to maintain order, and was forever respected by the people. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. This land, it is forever changing. One day it will be gone, but that day is not today. With Cao Cao gone, and the three kingdoms united under the banner of Wu, our kingdom shall prevail!